Midsummer's Eve in Sweden. Many people in Sweden are celebrating and this is a tradition we've had for centuries. And we are celebrating eves in Sweden, not the days. Same with Christmas. We are celebrating the Christmas Eve, not the Christmas day. And of course, it's because of alcohol. Because the days, like Christmas Day, Midsummer's Day, have been a holiday, so people haven't been at work. Therefore, they had a party at the eve, so they can have a hangover on the day when they don't have to work. One of the biggest fears a musician have is that something would happen to the hearing or the hands, which in my case happened. Midsummer in Sweden is like there's an explosion in every city because everyone is getting out to the countryside, which we also did to our summer cabin. It's starting to smell really good from the food. My mom had done some potato salad and my dad is fixing with the barbecue and I'm gonna do the barbecuing because they want me to do it. Uh, I don't mind. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. So here's my dad. And this is my mom. She doesn't want to speak English. She hates speaking English. <laughs> and this is my brother. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm preparing the potatoes. The year was 2008 and I have just been on a holiday in a tropical country for some scuba diving. And I had a concert with my choir, I remember. I had a high fever and my left hand was painful. So extremely painful. The day after I went to the hospital and they just put me inside. I had to stay at the hospital for about two months. And there they were trying for several weeks to find the bacteria that was causing this. The problem is that there were no bacteria. They also tried to find if I had got some bacteria from that tropical country, but nothing. I was very well taken care of at the hospital, as I've always been in Sweden. We have very good health care and it's paid by our tax, but maybe I wasn't well treated this time. What actually happened was that the bacteria caused an infection which turned to be an inflammation. So big of an inflammation that my body still thought it was an infection. The hand was really swollen and extremely painful. So painful I wish that no one in the world would experience this kind of pain ever. They talked about cutting my hand and I said, yeah, do it, because I couldn't stand the pain nearly. But I was scared. I was really scared. Midsummer always reminds me of that time because it was at midsummer I was released from hospital and I was so determined to start playing again, but my hand was in a lot of pain and I couldn't nearly move it at all. And two weeks after that midsummer, I was booked at gigs. I was going to be a piano entertainer. And I was so determined to do those gigs. So in those two weeks and during midsummer, I was so determined to get back to playing. I did exercises every day, every hour of every day. Stretching exercises, strength exercises. I also had help from a physiotherapist. So I went to see her every day. And when I told my physiotherapist that I have gigs in two weeks, I'm gonna play piano in front of people in two weeks. And she said, yeah, right, sure you do. She didn't believe me, but I was so stubborn. 
I can't really blame her for not believing me. My hand couldn't nearly move at all and it was really swollen and a lot of pain. My diagnosis was osteomyelitis, which is when bacteria, or in this case an inflammation, was chewing on the bones. It's, it's like pouring water on plaster. Bones in my wrist. So my hand now is not as flexible as they were before. But I'm so happy that I can perform music, that I can play my instruments. I have practiced so much after this incident to be able to play my instruments with the limitations of my hand. Have you experienced being so afraid of not being able to perform music again? Please tell me in the comments. Please like and subscribe. The Swedish word of today is stubborn. Stubborn in Swedish is envis. Envis. And I'm lucky that I'm stubborn. Until next time, Roger that.